The pronghorn is the only member of its family. And although many people refer to it as an antelope, it is in fact more closely related to the giraffe and okapi. This pale-coated and thick-bodied creature stands on skinny legs roughly one meter high and weighs less than the average adult human. So many things make the pronghorn unique. It has evolved for millions of years to be a highly adapted inhabitant of the Great Plains of North America, including here, in Grasslands National Park. It's best known for its incredible speed, only second on Earth to the cheetah. It can run at speeds of almost 100 kilometers per hour. Some theories suggest that in prehistoric times, it was being hunted by a now extinct species of wild cat, which were much faster than its current predators. The pronghorn's extra large heart, lungs, and windpipe allow for speeds of over 60 kilometers per hour over long distances. Pronghorns dine on sagebrush, grasses, forbs, and other plants, including cactuses, and they get most of the water they need from the foods they eat. Their wide-set and bulging eyes are the largest of all hooved animals in proportion to their body size. They have a 300-degree field of view and can detect a predator six kilometers away. They are the only creature on Earth with pronged horns. All other animals with horns only have two single spikes of some kind. Unlike the antlers of deer, elk, and moose, which shed entirely each year, their horns only shed the outside layer, revealing a fresh horn underneath each time. Males and females both have horns, which is also unusual. The females are much smaller and tend to be shorter than their ears. They use their white hind hairs to signal danger to other pronghorn and also communicate with snorts, wheezes, squeaks, grunts, and roars. In Canada, pronghorns can be found on the southern prairies of Alberta and Saskatchewan, where their large winter herds can be seen dispersing into smaller groups in the spring. In late summer, males will start to gather harems of does and will battle other males aggressively for breeding rights. Come spring, females will usually give birth to two fawns, which they may leave hidden over a kilometer away while they graze. Newborns are odorless to help avoid predation, and after about three weeks, they'll join their mothers and already be able to easily outrun a human. Pronghorn fawns can fall prey to coyotes and golden eagles, while adults can outrun most predators, possibly living up to 10 years. Plains indigenous peoples have relied on pronghorns for food for thousands of years, but also to make clothing, containers, and tools. Up until colonization in the early 1800s, much like their bison neighbors, pronghorns numbered in the tens of millions. By 1924, they were reduced to only thousands by overhunting and agriculture. Today, hunting restrictions are in place and their population has grown but the development and fragmentation of their habitat continues to threaten their existence. When pronghorns cannot migrate naturally, severe winters and droughts can prove especially challenging as well. Pronghorns are reluctant to jump, so the only way they can get past fences is to crawl under them, if that's even possible. These highly specialized ungulates have survived all of the changes that have occurred in their environment since prehistoric times. So we must work hard not to create new obstacles that will slow down their success into the future. To learn more about pronghorns, visit hww.ca.